My name is Rich Robin. I'm owner of Gator Pit of Texas Custom Barbecue Pits here in Houston, Texas. I'm going to walk you through one of our Bandit Mobiles. All right, here we have the Gator Pit Bandit. This is a 20 diameter, quarter inch thick wall, about 32 long on the main chamber. We have a 20 by 20, about three foot tall, 36 inch upright with four sliding meat racks in it. All of our uprights are made out of quarter inch thick steel plate. Um, a lot of our competitors, or a lot of the folks out there making barbecue pits, and the upright smokers on 20 inches will make them 3 16 or even 8 inch plate. We make it a thick quarter inch so that you get good heat retention and that you're able to cook in these uprights as well. Inside, you've got four. You have inside, you have four sliding meat racks. The fourth rack is down here. I actually took it out because I wanted to show you these optional sausage hangers that we make. This is for cold smoking sausage in the upright. You actually can hang the links on here. This particular customer has four of these in here. They actually rest on the angle slides that your meat rack rests on. You don't have to reach into the, the heat of the pit. You pull your meat out, you do your rub, you do your basting, you do your spritzing, you flip it around, you move it, you take it off, you put it on. It makes it easy to do it outside the upright. Otherwise, you're reaching into it, putting your face in the heat, putting your face in the smoke, and that's not comfortable. For anybody that's ever done it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You got plenty of clearance for beer can chickens, plenty of clearance for big turkeys, larger cuts of meat. The uprights just make it easy to cook those large cuts of meat like that. You got a horizontal chamber over here. Again, quarter inch thick steel, heavy stuff. <coughs> In here, you got a lower sliding food rack. You got an upper sliding food rack. Once again, makes it easy to access that meat when you can pull it out towards you and do what you need to do to it. If you didn't have sliding racks, You'd have to reach between the upper tray and the lower tray to get to that piece of meat way in the back. And guess what? You're going to be burning the crap out of yourself. Not fun. Pull it out. Do what you need to do to it. Put it back in. Close your door and walk away. Stainless steel gator gauges. These are industrial gauges. Stainless steel, three inch dials, two and a half inch stainless steel stems. They fit a half inch coupler that we weld in. They have a Gator logo on there. They also have the temperature ranges in different colors. You have smoke, barbecue, and grill. You get the same thing on the upright door. I want to emphasize too, all of our pits are fully flanged all the way around to keep heat and smoke in. We try to do everything we can to minimize any heat loss or smoke loss out of your doors. Everything goes out your stack like it's supposed to. Over here on the, on the main chamber, same thing. Fully flanged doors, all four sides, fully welded, not stitch welded. I emphasize that because a lot of competitors out there will stitch weld these. Again, they do everything they can to cut their costs down, their labor costs down, and they sell the pits for cheaper. People don't realize that until they get the pit and they compare it with a quality custom pit. This is the difference between a quality custom pit and somebody out there that's just making pits. Angle frame front shelf comes out to the end of the fender. This particular customer added aluminum diamond plate fenders. These are an option. You're going to come with a standard black fender. This customer also added some nice custom wheels. You're going to come standard with the white wheel. These are 15 inch wheels. They're 205, 75, R15 trailer rated tires. You have a 3,500 pound axle. You have springs for a smooth ride or smooth tow. You've got a standard light kit. You come with a two inch coupler standard. This customer added a two inch bulldog style coupler. We've got a screw jack with a removable plastic swivel wheel. That wheel comes off for when you're towing it so you have to worry about it bottoming out on you and bending your jack back. On the back side, your band is going to come standard with a quarter inch thick new pipe firebox. This customer opted for a half inch thick 20 by 20 square firebox. It's entirely half inch thick steel all the way around to include the door. You have stainless steel handles on all of our doors. They don't get hot. Even on the firebox, when this pit's running 225 or 325, depending on the temperature this customer wants to cook at, this handle's not hot. You can actually grab it and not have to worry about burning your hands off. Same thing on all the other door lids. Again, Beefy, half inch thick steel, you can hear that. Solid. We've got a quarter inch thick fire grate. We make this as beefy and heavy as you can also to make it last. You've got dial style adjustable air vents. You've got two on this particular size firebox being a square 20 by 20. These handles don't get hot. They also spin and rotate around, so it makes it easy. Counterclockwise opens, clockwise closes them up. Set your vents, forget it. Walking around on the back side, we've got an angle framed, full storage bin 
This can be for your wood, your easy ups, your chairs, your folding tables, whatever gear you've got to haul, throw it in here. You've got a lot of capacity back here. It's 20 inches tall, it's 24 inches across, and it goes the full length of the cooker. A lot of, cook, uh, a lot of storage capacity back here. And again, the, same, the aluminum fenders back here, the same things you see on that side we have over here as far as the trailer frame. Uh, I want to emphasize our trailer frames. Our trailer frames, we make them. We don't buy trailers and put pits on them. We make everything here at Gator Pit. Everything. Everything's designed by me. Everything's built by me when it comes to these trailers. We use a true quarter inch, two by two square tubing. We don't take angle. We don't box it up. We don't stitch weld it. It is actual solid quarter inch thick, two by two square tubing. And that makes the difference between a true custom pit and someone out there just building trailers and putting pipe on it and shipping them out. I'm Rich Robin, owner of Gator Pit Texas Custom Barbecue Pits in Houston, Texas. Come see me. Let's see what we can do for you.